The schools that our clients' children attend are simply not providing their children with the quality of education that Mississippi was required to maintain under the Readmission Act. The classrooms are crowded. They're taught by teachers who are inexperienced. Those teachers aren't given the resources that they need to succeed in the classroom. Uh, and this is the way it's been uh, for decades in Mississippi. These buildings are dark, they're gloomy. One of our clients described it uh, like a jail. Paint peels off the walls. Uh, after big rains, the floors flood, uh, the ceilings are rotten. No kid ought to have to go to school in conditions like this. After the Civil War, Congress understood that if it was going to avoid the sort of racial hostilities that led to the Civil War, that it had to fundamentally remake Southern society. And so when it got ready to bring Mississippi back into full statehood, it did so through what it called the Readmission Act. The Readmission Act placed three conditions on Mississippi's readmission to the Union, one of which was that Mississippi could never diminish the school rights that were provided to children under the state constitution. Now at the time, Mississippi afforded school children a broad array of rights, and if those rights were still on the books, uh, it would be one of the broadest guarantees of public education anywhere in America, even in the 21st century. But beginning in 1890 and over the course of the 20th century, Mississippi watered down those rights several times until you have what we have today, which is one of the weakest guarantees to public education of any state in the country. Now in this case, two of our clients send their children to Raines Elementary School in Jackson. And at Raines Elementary School, 4% of children are performing math at grade level. Now not too far up the road at Madison Station Elementary School in the suburbs, more than 70% of the kids are performing at grade level. Now the difference between Raines and Madison Station is that Raines Elementary is overwhelmingly African American. Madison Station is overwhelmingly white. Now this is not a uniform system of public schools. When an overwhelmingly African American elementary school has 24 out of 25 kids not performing at grade level, that is not uniform. My name is Rita Bender. When I was um, a young adult, I went to Mississippi. This was a state in which black people were given sharecropper education. And the statistics in the 1960s were that one in four white students actually graduated from high school, which is a pretty low number to begin with. For black students, it was one in 40. Education in Mississippi is still appalling. Not only are children not taught the actual history of the place that they live, but they're not, in many of the schools, taught the basic um, skills that are necessary for living in, in the 21st century in the modern world. We're asking the United States District Court for the Southern District of Mississippi to declare that Mississippi remains under the legal obligations that it kept in 1870 when it was readmitted to the Union, and to reaffirm that Mississippi still has to provide its school children with a uniform system of public schools. <laughs>